Okay, best way to sync audio. This is part two. Part one, some people feel like I didn't really dive into the product and how it works uh, with uh, syncing audio. And I agree that I kind of just skimmed over it, but it's just a product I'm really excited about and I just wanted to talk about it. But I think, you know what, it's a good point that maybe I should dive in a little deeper and explain the product um, and why time code is so important and why I love using it so much. <laughs> So again, what the Tentacle Sync Box does is it allows you to put time code into the 3.5 millimeter mic jack or into a BNC connection into professional broadcast cameras. So right there, you have a huge bridge that's been gapped. Bridge, but, but, bridge, bridge that's been gapped? We have a bridge there that wasn't there before, filling in that void where People like university students, people that are just starting out, people that are starting a video production company, people that aren't using BNC connections, they can finally sync using timecode, bringing their professionalism up so they can work with broadcasters. So why is timecode so important and why am I going on about it? Why am I giving it such high praise? Well, I was introduced to timecode when I had the opportunity to work with Matt Gallagher on his film called How to Prepare for Prison, where I was doing location sound work and I was uh, his second camera and I was his production assistant and his assistant camera. You name it, I was basically everything but the director. Where timecode came in was Matt asked me, he's like, how are we going to make sure that your camera and my audio are in sync? And I said, oh, I don't know. I guess, can't we just use the waveform uh, programs that uh, like pluralize and stuff like that? And he said that most broadcasters don't really use that and they rely on time code essentially and that I would have to figure that out if I was going to do that. So I started looking into what I could use to get time code from my sound mixer to his camera. And my sound mixer at the time was a Tascam four channel audio mixer. It sounded great, it was semi-professional. It's, it's more like a prosumer product, but it didn't offer time code out and uh, the only way to do it would be to have something like the Tentacle Sync where it's putting time code into an audio channel and then time code into his camera and that's the only way we could do it. We couldn't go from BNC to BNC. Uh, it wasn't that easy and Tentacle Sync as far as I know was one of the first pro uh, products to come on the market that allowed you to have uh, all that power, the the ability to put time code into an audio channel. Now I know there was I've heard that they were doing this in the past, but it just wasn't accessible. It wasn't in this small, tiny little package that you see right here. This Tentacle Sync E has a scratch audio track that goes into one of the left or right channels, and then the time code goes into the other channel. And these batteries last, last up to like over 30 something hours. And I think they're relatively cheap. Uh, some people say they're a little expensive, but uh, I think for what you're getting at this size, and for what's on the market, I just really think it's a great way to go, a great tool, a professional tool that's really going to give you some promise when working with broadcasters and other professional filmmakers. Another great plus about buying the Sync E box is that it comes with the software to sync all your footage. And I gotta tell you, it's probably one of the best softwares I've used for syncing footage. It's so easy. It allows you to export an XML, AAF, and CSV. Since I use Premiere Pro, I export an XML. Um, and once I do that, I just drag it into Premiere Pro and there it is, there's my whole day all um, in sync and all the audio tracks are mono. There's no guesswork, it's all just there for me and I'm ready to work and I love that. It's super fast, you can sync like a whole day's footage in literally seconds. Okay, let's talk about the different ways you can sync to a camera. So as I mentioned before, it allows you to sync in a professional way through BNC connection, or you can sync in the more prosumer way to the 3.5 millimeter uh, microphone jack. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now on my little vlog camera here. So I got the trusty GH4 here, and for this demonstration, I'm gonna show you how to sync using the 3.5 millimeter mic jack. So you're trying to sync one camera to another. I only have one camera on me right now, so we'll just pretend there's two. I have labeled as my sync box one, 
and then I have what's labeled is my sync box two. This will be my master and this will be my slave. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn them on. So we turn the master on till it turn turn we turn the master on till it blinks green. It's blinking green. And then we turn the slave on till it blinks red. It's blinking red. So we have the master blinking green and the slave blinking red. We want to take the time code from the master and sync it to the a slave. So you plug in to the master and then you're going to watch it the slave turn green. Now both boxes are syncing green or blinking green. That means you're ready to go. And the, another way you can check this to make sure they are both uh, running the same time code is Tentacle Sync makes an app. Click Tentacle Sync, and it's gonna tell you right here. Look at this. Cool, both in sync. Okay, and that app is free, so I definitely recommend buy, uh, downloading that. You can also sync using the app via Bluetooth, so you you don't even need to plug in like a master to a slave. You can just uh, turn both sync boxes on. It doesn't matter if they're gr blinking green or red. And then you can press wirelessly sync right here. It says wirelessly sync, start. Here it goes. Did it work? Yes, it did. Look at that. They're both green, they're both in sync. Now what you do to plug it into your camera, I'm gonna show you how this works here. It's very easy, so let's turn it on. Okay, so we have on the camera, you can see you can we got uh, time code and we have the audio uh, levels bouncing up and down right there, somewhere around there. So what's gonna happen is now we plug in the 3.5 millimeter cable into the mic jack and then we take our our master's plugged into our ma our like A camera, and this will be our B camera, and we're gonna plug our slave or our sync box two into the B camera. And what you're gonna watch watch the audio meters. One of the meters is recording my voice, and the other one is recording time code. And it's just a straight signal, and it sounds kind of like a dial tone, like it's all crazy. <laughs> so. That's pretty cool. Okay, I hope this was a more in-depth vlog about the best way to sync audio with the Tentacle Sync E boxes. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I love your questions. I'm so grateful for all these subscribers and that they keep building every week. Um, so thank you. Again, if you like this video, hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you guys next time.